Hi, my name is Jose Pinto. I'm a fourth year chemistry major at the University of Cincinnati, and this is my capstone presentation on comparing the reaction rates of reactive oxygen species with different molecules by nuclear magnetic resonance. I worked under Dr. Peng Zhang and his graduate student, Zhu Yun Park. What is a reactive oxygen species? ROSs refer to a group of highly reactive oxygen-based species derived from molecular oxygen, pictured on the left. The ROSs are pictured in the middle, and we'll be looking at superoxide and singlet oxygen within this study. Why care about ROSs? ROSs play an important part in the generation of several diseases within humans, specifically cancers and Parkinson's, as, a, as well as a few others. And it also plays an important part in the treatment of cancer uh, within photodynamic therapy. ROSs also play an important part in plants and their growth and development, and outside of the biological sphere, ROSs play an important part in energy conversion and industrial processes. A little bit of background, uh, Julian Park, the uh, graduate student I worked under, made a new method uh, which quantified and differentiated ROSs simultaneously. He found two different types of reaction, which we'll see in a second, and this is uh, the top one is the type 1 and the bottom one is the type 2. So the probe reacts with superoxide to generate a phenyl. The phenyl then reacts with singlet oxygen to release fluoride ions. So this is an overview of my work, which is based on Julian's work. And this is kind of what it looked like in person. The left is a picture of an NMR tube. The picture in the middle is of the NMR machine itself. And the picture on the right is of the NMR spectra. The type 1 reaction, uh, which we saw before, I was investigating whether or not the presence of a methyl group influenced the rate of reaction. So otherwise, these compounds are the same except for the presence of this CH3. This is what the spectra look like. Of note is this presence of 2FBA, which is used as an internal reference, uh, and the ratio of it to the probe allows us to quantify the peaks in other spectra. So 2FBA remains unchanged throughout, and this is what allows us to quantify and compare them, compare the peaks. So this is the graph that resulted from the type one uh, reaction. And we see here that red, which had the methyl group, reacts faster than the compound which did not have the methyl group. And this is because methyl is actually an electron donating group, and this increase in electron density makes it more reactive with ROS. Within the type 2 reaction, I was looking at two things. The first is also, once again, the presence of CH3 and whether or not that influences the rate of reaction. And on the right, we see a different positioning of the substituent groups. So the substituent groups are the same, but they're positioned differently within the compound. The spectra is pictured here, and it remains mostly the same, besides the fact that we use a different photosensitizer to uh, generate the uh, singlet oxygen used in the type 2 reaction. On the left, we see that the presence of um, a methyl group once again increased the rate of reaction. And on the right, we see that if you change the position of the substituent groups, um, it actually does not influence the rate of reaction at all. Overall, when comparing all the samples, we learned that the presence of a nitro group meant that it was more reactive, and this is because the nitro group is electron withdrawing. Once again, we see that a, uh, the presence of a methyl group meant that it was more reactive, and this may seem a little backwards because we have electron withdrawing being more reactive, and we have electron donating being more reactive, but here specifically the methyl group provided a pair of electrons to form a new covalent bond, and this helped increase the reactivity with ROSs. The position of substituents did not influence the rate of reaction. Some key takeaways uh, are that reactive oxygen species play an important part in photodynamic therapy and the fight against cancer, as well as the actual generation of several diseases. Within this uh, study, we found and gained a new understanding in the quantification and differentiation process. Specifically, we learned about the position of substituents and how that has no influence on the reaction rate. For type one reactions, we learned that electron donated groups meant that the reaction was more reactive or that the compound was more reactive. And for type two, we saw that both electron withdrawing and donating groups 
could increase the reactivity of the compound. Overall, we can now customize our probes to better fit um, any future application. Thank you.